Welcome, 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 welcome to WrestleGram. This is your boy, the host, with the most, but humble. And I do mean humble. D, no survivors, a.k.a. Derek, and I'm here on a Friday to give you, of course, AEW Rampage. First and foremost, thank you so very much for being a part of my day, your day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of whatever, whatever you're watching it. I thank you from the bottom of my heart to the depths of my loins. I truly, truly do thank you for being a part of it. You don't have to be watching it today. Just like I said, it's okay. It's okay. I tell you, without you guys, it truly wouldn't be me, and I truly, truly thank you. There's a reason why I say humble. There's a reason why I say humble, and I truly mean it. I truly do mean it. If you want to do anything for me, go ahead and hit the like button. If you don't like it, take it back. Okay, take it back. I'm, I'm okay with taking it back. But, you know, if you do like it, go ahead and like it. Um, also... If you want to do more than just the liking part, um, go ahead and hit the subscription button. I'm steady looking at the at, at the stuff. Y'all are watching it. You're watching it, but you're not subscribing. So if you enjoy it and you're continuously, you know, doing stuff and sending me nice little caveats of, 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 of you know, comments or whatnot, go ahead and subscribe or whatnot. If you want to do more than just those things, go ahead and hit the notification bell i do seven i do seven core shows each and every week so if you like stuff on monday i got stuff on monday the only day i don't have right now is of course saturday which i'm going to be doing something on saturday so hold off i'm just trying to figure out what it is but you know as soon as it uploads you can watch it it's uh you can see this crazy mug right here and you know uh, we can watch some really cool stuff what how about that so, uh, other than that, uh, tomorrow, of course, you will uh, be free to do whatever you want. But Sunday, I will be doing, of course, the Dirt Sheet Roundup. Now, I know we're not talking about that. Let's talk about AEW Rampage. A uh, pretty okay show. Um, I would have moved some stuff around, but, you know, it was a it was an okay show. But, you know, to me, uh, AEW is more of a filler than it is anything to me. Uh, I don't know. I mean, um, something that I would have done beforehand. Um, let, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. First and foremost, we got the Acclaim doing their very first uh, title uh, defense on uh, any AEW that's going to be against Butcher and the Blade and Private Party. Now, uh, they did have a conversation because... Andrade does have both Private Party and Butcher and the Blade on the payroll. So they were trying to make sure that they all try to coexist to get those belts on themselves so we can have some type of gold on the Andrade uh, uh, area. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, that did not happen. But also, I knew it wasn't going to happen because we have uh, scissoring, national, national scissoring day on AEW Dynamite, so I knew that that wasn't going to happen either, on top of that, the private party is on the decline, on the good graces of Andrade, and Matt Hardy is trying to get back into the good graces of private party, so I knew for a fact that Acclaim was going to win, I do love Butcher and the Blade. They are a really great uh, um, tag team. But Private Party, not even close to sniffing those belts. So they did win. Of course, Acclaim did win uh, with that beautiful listen uh, uh, a finisher followed by the mic drop. Um, they did not coexist and they did not try to coexist. Hitting fence for them winning the match. I mean, that's kind of how... Andrade was trying to get them to come together, but it just did not happen. Uh, after that, we got the Fern. Uh, we had a promo with uh, the Gun Club. Uh, that was uh, Stokely and I think it was Morrissey. 
in that little mix as well. And the gun club was just talking about that uh, FTR is not getting, uh, of course, they're not getting uh, no any type of uh, just just any type of TV time, no type of TV time. Um, but they're in London defending the uh, Ring of Honor, not Ring of Honor, the uh, the IWGP titles. And the Gun Club was just talking about uh, that they get more tight, they get more time on TV, and they said it's the Ring of Horror channel uh, t uh, titles, the AAA Battery titles, and the IWGP R two D two titles. I thought that was pretty funny. And they said Taco Boys out. I thought that was pretty good. I thought it was pretty cool. After that, we get a Jake Cargill uh, promo where she is still just the she's a champion. Nobody has beaten this woman, and she still does not get the respect that she truly deserves or whatnot. She is top champion when it comes to the the, the women's division. I'm sorry, uh, Tony Storm. But Jade is unbeatable. She has not lost in like 30-something. I think it's 33 matches. So, and now she's declared the baddest bitch in AEW. Not even in AEW. In all of wrestling. Hands down. I love Jade Cargill. She is so gorgeous. So fine. My, my heart. I love you, Jade. Um, She can do no wrong by me. I mean... And she can do no wrong by me. But Nyla Rose comes out of nowhere. I thought Nyla Rose was trying to uh, get a title shot with Thunder Rosa. That must didn't happen. But uh, Nyla Rose comes out, uh, talks about that uh, I never uh, got an opportunity for that, for that belt. And she wants a title shot. And, of course, uh, uh, Jake Cargill most definitely obliges. And she's and Vicky throws a uh, shirt at Gray and says cover up, and she says that her eyebrows are ashy. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, after that, we got Lee Moriarty versus Fuego Del Sol. Haven't seen Fuego in a very long time. Usually, somebody's stealing Fuego's uh, mask, but we see Fuego uh, jobbing out, of course, to. Uh, Lee Moriarty with that crazy, 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 um, uh, I wouldn't call it a Bella Lock, um, or a, uh, it's more of a, I guess it's a stretch, um, um, probably a stretch type of Bella Lock, uh, where you're stretching the arm instead of the neck, uh, Fuego did choke out, uh, well, did tap out, and after that, Morrissey came in with a very stiff, very, very crazy choke slam onto Fuego Del Sol. Um, after that, we get the promo from Hangman Page talking about um, my match with uh, the current AEW champion, which is John Moxley. He did win the Golden Ticket Battle Royal last week at Sl um, Grand Slam, giving him the opportunity to face. Uh, John Moxley, but out comes who I think should be champion right now, uh, the assistant, and of course, um, Andrade. Andrade is should be champion. He he right now Andrade should be champion, should be world champion. But uh, they had some type of video proving that Andrade is uh just out. I mean not Andrade, but Heyman Page is out for himself. Um, that he got 10 eliminated. They showed that she, he ducked out the way to get uh, one of uh, the people that was in the Golden Ticket Battle Royale was supposed to drop kick Hangman. He ducks and hits 10. 10 does fall out and uh, becomes eliminated. Andrade truly wants 10 to be a part of his crew. 10 is like, no. So he's like, let's be honor about it. Let's be honorable about it. Uh, me and you fight. If I win, I take that mask. Ten says, okay. If I if, if I win, I want your contract. You will no longer be a part of AEW. We already know who's gonna win. That should probably be the main event of, of course, Rampage 
next week. Uh, after that, we get uh, Stokely. Stokely comes in and chimes in on Andrade as well, telling him that there's some stuff going on between Private Party and Matt Hardy. You may want to look into that and see what's going on. And Andrade is very upset. He's like, why? I'm, I'm, I can't be in a million places at one time. I truly love the Andrade, um, um, just everything. He has his he has his hands in so many pies. I don't know. That's, that's the thing. I don't know why he's not champion. He is the perfect person to take that belt off of John Moxley. I mean, I know they're trying to lean toward MJF. They got one year to do that. So, I would... The way it's looking, CM Punk is not fired or he will not be released from AEW. I, you, you got a year to get uh, um, MJF that bill, okay? Why not revisit the CM Punk and... The CM Punk and, and, and MJF stuff. I'm just saying. And it doesn't need to be up for a belt or anything. I'm just being completely honest with you. I would do that. Give it some time. Let Un I would let Andrade be the transitional champion. And go ahead and let John Moxley have his vacation. But I truly digress after that. We get Willow Nightingale versus Jamie Hayter. I love Willow Nightingale so much. I hate that she has to job to people. Um, and Jamie Hayter does not, never had a belt. So, I don't know. Um, but, it was a very decent match. Very, very decent match. Uh, Willow got a lot of offense in. Apparently, they had beef uh, with the Lumberjack match. And they were, just didn't like each other. They were going at it back and forth. So, they it set up this match for tonight. Uh, Jamie Hayter did uh, a crazy. Uh, I think it was supposed to be a, a, a backbreaker, but it but J uh, but Willow fell on the fell on her neck. It looked it very very stiff. It looked it like it was a botch. It was supposed to be on her back. Uh, also, we got a uh, crazy. Uh, Willow gets on the t on the mid rope. Jamie grabs Willow, does a beautiful German suplex, picks up, does another suplex. And ends it with a beautiful uh, lariat to win the match. Uh, well, like I said, pretty, pretty, pretty good match. Pretty good match. After that, we get now Warlow and Samoa Joe are fused. Now they have they're called War Joe, and they're just talking about you know they're gonna lay, lay lace uh, lay waste <laughs> to anybody who comes into their territory. Uh, after that, we get. Uh, that Hollywood hunk guy talking about people from Philadelphia. Um, he says Rocky is fake. And um, what else he said? He, I think he was talking about uh, Benjamin Franklin. And he talked about um, ECW where, of course, Hook's dad did a lot of his greatness there. So Hook comes out, beats the living shit out of this guy, put Rick Rum on him. Made him tap out and just walked away. But, but the Trust Busters came out and put a piece of paper uh, trying to recruit, of course, Hook. So Hook grabs the piece of paper and walks away. Uh, after that, we get uh, the Swerve Strickland. Um, Swerve Strickland is not happy, but he was out uh, at, uh, uh, is it Roll, uh, uh, roll Load? Uh, which is, I guess, the biggest uh, uh, hip-hop um, festival in America. And he he was out with a lot of people um, enjoying himself. But he said he will be back uh, for uh, Dynamite to be upset, of course. Because, <laughs> you know, he, he is the one that took that Famouser from uh, Billy. So we, we will see what goes on with that. Uh, after that, we do get the main event, Silver. Uh, versus Rouge, Rush or Rouge, call it Rouge. Uh, uh, match of the night, match of the night, hand, hands down. Um, I, I tell you, John Silver is a he, this guy is short, but when I tell you, he is he has so much 
so much charisma, so much strength. It makes no sense. But, of course, Rouge is just too much for this guy. I mean, this guy is a former AEW world champion. So, I knew that wasn't going to happen. But, um, the assistant did come on, uh, takes his jacket off, tries to, you know, um, mess with the referee. The referee is distracted. Andrade gets on the ring again as well. Talks to, uh, trying to talk crap to John Silver. That did interrupt John Silver, giving Rouge the opportunity to put that beautiful bull's horn onto Silver for him to win the match. After that, uh, Andrade assist and the assistant and Rouge attack. Uh, uh, out comes um, some more people from the uh, from Dark Order. They get attacked. We also get the people that work for Andrade, which is Butcher and the Blade, comes out. And, of course, Adam Hangman Page comes out to help everybody. Uh, but he tries to put the uh, Buckshot Lariat onto Rouge. Rouge knew what was going on, rolled out. But he sees Assistant right there and puts the uh, Buckshot Lariat onto him. They will have a match on Wednesday. Rouge versus Adam Hangman Page. I can't wait to see that. I'm a big fan of Adam Hangman Page, and I'm a big fan of Rouge. Let's talk about Andrade before I get away. Before I go away, once again, uh, this was Andrade heavy, and when I tell you it was heavy, it was great because we seen just the awesomeness of of the storyline with Andrade. Uh, I mean, it wasn't a really great show because I hate that it's not. As as focused as as dynamite because there's not a lot of stars. We didn't even have Chris Jericho on the show this go around as uh, on commentary. So I don't know what more to say about the situation, um, but it just needs to be more focused on just being a better show it's not even about you know the storylines it's just being a better show you the thing that kills me about the situation and i'll say this the beginning the first match was really good the acclaim versus butcher and the blade and the private party but we already know wednesday that they're having a national scissor day so, we all know that the Acclaim is going to win. And on top of that, this is their first title defense. Of course they're going to win. Of course they're going to win. Come on, really? So, I, I knew that was going to happen. But, it's okay. You can only, to me, I think they're getting better. I think they're getting better. It's just the execution sometimes kind of lays waste. Um, to what's going on. But, you know, it's a show. What can I say? I remember, I truly, <coughs> I truly remember when I used to say that um, that was the best show on TV. Can't say it anymore. But anyway, like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Send the people you don't like. Send the people you don't like. Send the people that are your best friend. Or whatnot, and not subscribe yet. Send get it, send it to them or whatnot. I love y'all so much. I will see y'all Sunday. I will see y'all Sunday. The best is truly yet to come. And until next time, you guys. Until until next time, you guys. Love, peace, and of course, and of course, wrestling. <laughs>